Welcome back to Makeup Effects Live 2015 here at IMATS. And we are here with G.I. Jerry, who is uh, an elderly soldier. He's very vigilant right now. And I would not be trying to rush this booth because we've got G.I. Jerry here to protect us. Uh, G.I. Jerry is actually Michael Segovia. It's a makeup done by Rob Berman. Hey, Rob. Hi, how you doing, Welcome Matt? to the webcast. We're also joined by Fred Blau Thank you, Jr. Matt. How are you, Fred? Very excellent. Thank welcome you. Welcome to the show, and welcome, G.I. Jerry. Hi, where am I? <laughs> you're at you're uh, a makeup trade show, the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. Oh, makeup. My are wife puts that on. Your wife is into the makeup. How old are you, Jerry? Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, hey, Rob. He's pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> he's, he's good. Tell us a little bit about the makeup. Actually, this is a makeup I designed uh, a couple of years ago for one of my classes that I teach. And uh, I decided to um, <laughs> recreate him and take him up another step and make him something else. And I thought a great mashup would be, what's G.I. Joe look like in his doting years, you know? <laughs> um, tell us, is this a, is a foam, foam appliance? Yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, I think it's seven pieces. Uh, Foam latex makeup. It's all colored in the uh, the new Mel Pax colors, which are awesome. We're going to be talking um, to Alan later about uh, those colors. Yeah, he, the, the, he really hit it, hit it out of the park with his stuff, and and, and that's it. Just and a what few else? Colors what about the, the hair work? Uh, the hair is I got a flocking gun, so I went in and did the flocking on him, made it nice and fuzzy, and all of that stuff because he had to have you know lifelike hair. So for those of you makeup artists who don't know, flocking is a fantastic technique to get that really closely shorn look. There's yeah. really no way to get it otherwise. Yeah, they I mean, use you it can punch, toys and things like that. You can like punch that, finely and then shave it down, but flocking is, is well, the Well, flocking, way. you can do that look that takes you a week by hand punching yeah. in about five minutes. So we go, <laughs> five minutes is, is better than a week in some cases. Yeah. Well, thank you, uh, G.I. Jerry. I feel very uncomfortable with you not p patrolling the entire show. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we think you need to get out on patrol uh, oh, oh. and let us thank you. Don't shoot anyone. <laughs> Don't shoot anyone. Thank you, G.I. Cherry. All right, well. It's great when you've got a makeup and you've got a model that that knows how to play with it and have fun. Well, it doesn't matter how good your makeup is. If you don't have an actor who knows how to deliver the performance through the makeup, it doesn't. You look like a stick. Me. You look like a stick. Yeah. And uh, you two, I think uh, sort of the theme of our time here, because we've got some new blood in the makeup effects industry who've joined us. You guys are definitely not new blood. Yeah. You have been in this business for many years. Fred, since the 60s? Yeah, 63. 63. And Rob, you have been in the makeup industry since the day you were born. You are part Pretty of much. the <laughs> Berman <laughs> dynasty. Um, why don't we start, Rob, tell us a little bit about your family, where you came from, okay. uh, and some of the heavyweights who have come from the family tree. The, the, the quick five-minute version. <laughs> My grandfather came out from the Midwest, and uh, one of his first jobs was making the cane that kills the Wolfman in the original Wolfman in 1941. That's where it all starts, people. He met Jack Hermans Pierce. Hermans were there. Jack Pierce says, hey, you sculpt and mold and all that stuff, don't you? And my grandfather said, yes. He says, if you don't tell anybody, I'll have you make all my stuff. So kept my grandfather busy Why for a long time doing anyone? that. Well, because Jack was secretive. He didn't want people to think that somebody else was doing his work for ah, him. Ah, I see. You know. And uh, so then my father, when he got out of the Marine Corps in 19... That's Tom Berman. Uh, for those of you who know anything yes. about makeup, Tom yeah. Berman, uh, one of the pillars of the industry. He, uh, Go he got out of the Marine Corps around the early 1960s, and uh, by 1966, he got an apprenticeship at Fox. And he was there, and they had a big show coming in. Oh, my God, they got to get this, and who should we get? And my dad suggested John Chambers, and... Okay, well, let's call John and get him in here. And they started on a four-foot by eight-foot table the entire Planet of the Apes franchise. So uh, by the time I got out of high school, I'd played with enough clay and hung around his shop long enough that I just kind of stayed there and cleaned and did all the work and did sort of the karate kid training, wax on, wax off, and <laughs> don't touch that. And, you know. Tom's nickname was Mr. Miyagi, I remember. Uh, pretty much. I remember. <laughs> Um, and then in the end, I just stayed with it. And so since 79 or 80, I've been full-time 
Monster Maker. And since then, you have been a very busy man. You've seen Rob's work on Star Trek, Ghostbusters, The Fly, working closely with Chris Wallace. Yeah, that was on fun. That one. Enjoyed it. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, super fun. Uh, Scrooged, Howling 2, oh, the, Howling uh, the Thing, uh, another benchmark of. The Thing, what's that? Yeah, The Thing. I think, <laughs> I think if I've you heard love about The that Thing, movie. type in. I love the thing in the comments. Or just clap. Uh, and cat people. Uh, you have won, uh, you've had a Saturn nomination for best I, makeup for Super, Super, Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Yep. And you have your own company, Rubberware, which we're going yep. to talk more about towards the end of the segment. And we'll give sure. people uh, a heads up where they can find your stuff. Sure. That's Rob Berman. That's me. And sitting next to him, as I mentioned earlier, is Fred Blau oh. Jr. Uh, Fred... You've been knocking around forever. You do brilliant, brilliant work. Thank you, man. And you also have Real Creations. Yes, I do. Uh, where you have your own line of products. That's You've seen Fred's work in Apocalypse Now. Yes, he worked on a, for a year you were on that show? We were in the Philippines for a year over a period of 15 months. So you basically went to war for real. Uh, yes. In the Philippines yes, on that I, movie. Really. Yeah, it was um, amazing. The Quick and the Dead, Blade, How the Grinch Stole Christmas with uh -huh. Rick Baker. Uh -huh. uh, Planet of the Apes again with Rick Baker, Adam's Family Values. And way back, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And that classic film with Elizabeth cool Taylor. Cool Hand Luke. Cool Hand Luke Ooh, with Paul Newman. Wow. Yeah. You have touched Paul Newman. You have touched. Who else have you touched? <laughs> Famous Watch people. Watch your language. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say Fred has, no. hands, has had his hands on no, we, some of the most legendary been, <laughs> actors and actresses. Uh, I, was, I was assistant on uh, Cool Hand Luke, and what happened is one of the uh, makeup artists on the, on the show had, to, had another project coming up, and he couldn't finish his show. And I, was, I just passed my apprenticeship and became a journeyman and the next thing I knew I was out of work <laughs> you know and, and then uh, George Bow who was my main mentor over at Warner Brothers called me up he says Fred come on over I got a job for you pack your bags you're going up to uh, up north to uh, Sacramento and um, then Bob Bow his son was the head man he was doing Paul Newman and then I did all the other people and um, such a fantastic movie. It was. It was really good. And I, it was where I did my first tattoo for a person on the screen, and it had to be done in grease paint. Ugh. It was a nightmare. Smeared and smudged. And, oh, yeah, that's and the well, worst not possible only that, medium But the, for a the actor, I would go in, I would go into his, have to go to his hotel room real early, and he'd be coming out of a hangover, and there's a half a gallon of uh, spinata or something. We're not going to name any names. We won't name any names. <laughs> no. What part did he play? Uh, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell us and, who uh, the drunk actor was. It was rough. And then, then to touch it up every day was just miserable. And, uh, but we got through it. You and know, then you worked with I, Rod Steiger. Yes, on the Illustrated Man. On the Illustrated Man, Man, and Man that's where which we, was all about the tattoos. Right, and that's where the process of doing the transfers mm -hmm. uh, came about. And later on, we did uh, uh, the movie Tattoo with Bruce Dern and Maude Adams. Which that's well, where we first met, that, actually, was I was doing uh, stencils and stuff for you on right. Maude Adams' body. Right. So we both touched Maude Adams. You both touched Maude Adams? <laughs> Google Maude Adams. She, she's, wow. She va, was, va, va, she's a beautiful lady. I, and I've seen her since. Uh, she happens to be a dear friend of my, my cousin. And I saw her a couple of years ago, and she looks great. And, awesome. you know, Did you ask if you could reapply a little no, tattoo no, 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 as a no, 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 memory no, no. of leave, days leave, past? Leave, no, <laughs> she wasn't up for that. I was, up, I, I was with Bruce Dern the most time. I, I didn't want to get used to it. <laughs> um, I have a fun story for you, Fred. I believe I wore one of your... Was Roddy McDowell's character in the TV Planet of the Apes, was it Galen? Galen, yes. I, my father took me to my kindergarten class. There were, it was a bring your parent yeah, to work. Uh, yeah, 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 or, or it was yeah. a what does your parent do for a living day. Yes. I was five. Oh, by the way, his father is Stan Winston. There's, yes. No. Stan Sorry. Winston. My father is Stan Winston. Him. We've established that yeah. earlier in the broadcast. <laughs> um, but reminders, yes. Dad uh, was Stan Winston. Uh, I remember, remember he had a drawer full of prosthetics from the show. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And he had Galen prosthetics. And he 
took me to my class and turned me into that character using uh, those prosthetics. I, love it. I, I yeah, was five years old. So right. your well, well the, the same thing happened to my three kids. We had one of them made up as a, a gorilla, the other one made up as a chimpanzee, and another one made up as the orangutan. And so th this is Halloween. They're going to go trick-or-treating, right? They got maybe to the fourth house because every house that they went to, everybody stopped. Well, we have to take pictures. And they said to me, Dad, I Never don't again. ever do this again because I didn't get any candy. Oh, yeah. I didn't get any trick-or-treats. <laughs> no, no, no. We, then we took them to the market, and people would walk by them, and all of a sudden it's that stop. And they would turn around, and uh, the... in fact... <laughs> in fact, Stan, your dad did one of them. Uh, Tom did the other yeah. one, and I think uh, may have been Bill Tuttle did the, uh, the that's third fantastic. one. That's fantastic. I mean, I had the best people in Hollywood. So you that's know, where he got the runs from. That's what he put on me. It must have been the same. Yeah, yeah. It was 1975. Yeah, Is that about yeah, it was about right. right? Yeah. Um, I have a, a quick one. This is fun that we're talking about when. Because I'm sure you got stories about your dad. Similar story. My dad, for one Halloween, decided, or I said to dad, I was big into the Lord of the Rings. Oh, and I okay. said I wanted to be a dwarf from Lord oh, of the Rings. All right. So he sculpted me a prosthetic oh, wow. uh, oh, over nice. a life cast yeah, of yeah, my right. face. Fantastic hair work he had used oh. from a, a Pinocchio TV show he had done, this beautiful Danny Kaye wig, beard, oh, I love prosthetics. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, mom yeah. made a dwarf costume, went to a little party with a bunch of other fifth graders, and within five minutes, everyone's playing spin the bottle, <laughs> and I'm a dwarf. And I was so embarrassed, I love and I it. went into the bathroom without any remover and just started pulling chunks of <laughs> latex off my face. That was the last Halloween I ever dressed up. Oh, my goodness. So <laughs> we yeah. creature folk. Yeah. We dress up every day but Halloween. Oh, I love it. Can't do Halloween. Well, maybe you do Halloween. I think you still do. How, about, how about you, Rob? Talk to me. I mean, you guys had the epic... Haunted uh, backyard. Well, yeah, there were the, 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 the Berman the backyard. The one year when we borrowed a bunch of your stu stuff from your dad, who had just done Dead and Buried. Yep. Oh, we wow. borrowed so a we bunch of stuff from my dad, right. who had just had <laughs> done Cat People. Oh wow! And so you walked in through this haunted house. We had for four hours a 45-minute wait to get through my backyard. It was great. And we would send people through in groups of ten, and people were blacking out they were throwing <laughs> up they were just just it was awesome were they blacking out before throwing up or after the throwing well up? the little girl blacked out when the white ape jumped around the corner yes and she just oh, went huh. <laughs> you know and then the uh the other woman uh got sick as she was leaving out because there was the Leg on the barbecue and the fetus in the jar. <laughs> the fetus in the jar. You know, and that, that was like, okay, over done. The edge. And yeah. well, with your dad there pulling the heart out of one of his dead and buried <laughs> things. And I, my dad sticking needles in its eye yeah. and stuff. Well, yeah. they were both hams. Awesome. Both our dads well, had that yeah. in common. Closet performance. Hams, both of them. Absolutely. Um, and a lot of people don't know, the Berman Winston history is very long. Yeah. My father, uh, the studio was our house, you know. It was right. a little room Absolutely. off the garage, yeah. and then yeah. when he needed to grow, uh -huh. he went and uh, leased yeah, he out rented a studio space at my dad's. Space from Tom's. Uh. Yeah. And uh, so and I spent then he a lot of the time. And the one after that, and yep. they did um, Exterminator right after that. That's and right. And just took off. That's right. But I remember walking your dad's shop and seeing the, uh, the Prophecy Bear was going right. on. And, uh, oh, I tell people I threw away the Prophecy Babies. Because oh. they were, they were well, they were melting into the tabletop. This was a mutant grizzly movie, The Prophecy. I still have people Check it cursing out. me about that. Oh, wow. No. You did what? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was told to. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I threw away the fetuses. <laughs> no, you put them in a jar for your next Halloween backyard event. I should have. Right? I should have. If you have any kind of fake fetuses, <laughs> don't yeah, right. throw them away because Halloween's <laughs> coming up. Um, <laughs> On that note, let's switch over to your companies, guys, because we, we're coming towards the last 10 minutes. Talk to us about, we'll start with Rubberware. Um, rubberware, we started almost 20 years ago as a generic over-the-counter foam latex prosthetic supplier because I'd get cl calls at night, I need a pig nose tomorrow. Well, eh. so I knew that there was a market that that needed to fill, and so we started making those, and... Uh, 
you know, and through you word of we, mouth and all. My, my, my lovely wife, Jennifer McManus, and I, um, and my, my crew uh, that I have. I, you know, I have my girl, Alex, that's doing stuff, and my other assistants. I, you know, it, it does really well, and I'm, I'm really happy for it. I'm glad. You can go to getrubberware.com, and it has all of our distributors and everything listed there. And you should all know, I know they're uh, Namies, Nigel's, Friends, carries your stuff. Yeah, we got about 40 um, distributors around the world right now. So. so Rubberware is everywhere, and you spell it like it sounds. Rubberware. All one word, but the W is capitalized. It's, yeah, get, well, get Rubberware. Oh. GetRubberware.com, and we actually time, have yes. a link to the site in the description of this video. So nice. just scroll down and check it out. Also, Namies, we talked to Sam earlier, is offering a 20% discount on all purchases, and Rubberware is included in that. Awesome. Right? And real, is Real Creations over at uh, Namies? It may be. Well, yeah. uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, name is, so you can apply no, your name no, is discount they, to. Yeah. Uh, you can go into the well. major suppliers and you can see Real Creations products. Yeah, yeah. so there you go. Just so there, you there's, know. you're going to get some discount on Real Creations. Let's talk about Real Creations, Fred. Well, we started Real Creations, and I say we, it was uh, my former business partner, Mike Hancock. We started Real Creations back in 1980. And uh, from there, uh, we just, we. We're mainly doing tattoos because Mike was the innovator of the tattoo base. And uh, then we went to New York and went to uh, a um, pigment and dye company. And they, we wanted to know whether to use pigments or dyes in the formula. And, mm -hmm. they, and we ended up using pigments and everything was wonderful. And uh, what happened when we first started using the uh, product on the movie Tattoo with Bruce Stern and Maud Adams, we the the inks held up so well that we literally saved them one day shooting. We got everything done in three days instead of four, which would have gone over the Memorial Day weekend. And uh, so you can save a film if you oh, use yes. Real Creations products. Yes, I think that's what it we're lasts. saying. It lasts. It just lasts. And what is the web URL so they can uh, our check web, out? Our website is real r e e l creations dot com. Great. And those, and I believe, those cards for both of your companies. Or I think we uh, brought you on a little later in the broadcast, but at least for Rubberware, should be in the next commercial block. Uh, but same as with Rob, scroll down the video description, and there's a link to check out Real Creations Real creation, yeah. um, and buy some of their stuff. <laughs> uh, so guys, we have a question from the crowd. What genre of makeup excites you most? What, what is it? The zombie style, fantasy character, monster, what, what genre of makeup do you have most I've got to give you a little doing? kudos because my absolute favorite makeup Monster makeup was the Predator. I well, that's not technically a makeup, Fred. That's more of a well, mask with animatronic I, I features. I understand but that. It fits within our world. It, we'll it, take the... It is just, to me, the most creative. And the reason I like it so much is when they did the Predator 2, your father had to come up with, what, 20, 20 different... Predators. Of course, it's a and sequel. They you all, have to have more. They right. all looked different. Yep. Individual. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's like saying to a makeup artist, do 10 clowns. Mm -hmm. Think ten about it. 10 beauty makeups. Or 10 beauty makeups. But 10 clowns. Think about that. That's, that's a lot know, of clowns. That's a lot of clowns. And I'm going to have nightmares just thinking yes. about that. And, it is and, frightening. And, and when, <laughs> when I saw the Predator, I thought of, I thought of that one Point, uh, post it to me, do 10 clowns, I just said, whoa, I don't believe. I don't care if they were masks. I don't care if they were appliances. The look was unbelievable. Well, and I, I really had to, that's major creations. Well, Dad had obviously his own, I had to, his I had own to creative give, genius, and he surrounded himself with oh. so many brilliant artists. Absolutely. And as with everything in this industry, it was a great team effort, and... That yeah. one has stood yeah. the test of time, and uh, I think he'll always be associated with Predator. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, thank you, guys. Others, so, yes. Yeah. Uh, anything that you want to point out, highlights of the show for you guys so far? 
You've been here for a couple days, so. Oh, the rubber wear booth in Real Crease is yeah. pretty impressive. I hear that's where it's happening. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people are coming by, and it's Good. very nice. It's very nice. Good. Yeah, and a lot of people weekend. don't understand it, and so, you know, when you explain it to them, show them what you've done, and it, it, it really works. We have one guy that he does a, a marathon type, make uh, a, you know, race. Like an Iron Man thing. Yeah, it's an Iron Man thing. And his wife paints them with our inks every time. And every race he's in, it's a different race. And so and it, he and it holds. And, and it, it holds. holds up. It stays. He's yeah. going through mud. He's going through fire. He's going through everything, and uh, swimming. And it's really it's quite. My a product thing bounces. To so, okay, <laughs> to wrap up the segment, if you want to run a marathon with, <laughs> or bounce, or Full bounce, or bounce. <laughs> you can touch with Fred and Rob. That's right. And uh, right. once again, it's Real Creations and Rubberware. And right. thank you both so much for agreeing to be well, on the thank show. thank you, Matt. Really, really appreciate yep. it. Really enjoyed Anytime. that. Uh, and next up, we have more fun. We have Norman Cabrera guest Aww. hosting a segment. There you go. And he's going to be talking to Tom Hester, who was one awesome. of Rick Baker's original bunch, worked on American Werewolf and so many other great films. Norman is going to be geeking out with Tom, and uh, that's coming up after the break. So stick around. Don't change that YouTube channel. Keep watching, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>